Let's talk about critical thinking. Here we have two proud parents. Now, they think right and good ideas. And they have two children, twins, a boy and a girl. And they were born at exactly the same time. So they're the same in all ways except one is a boy and one is a girl. Now, because these are good, proud parents and they have good and right ideas, they teach their children. And so their children have right and good ideas. Well, one day, the brother goes over to his friend's house, and he talks to his friend and his friend's dad. Now, his friend's dad has a type of thinking called critical thinking. Maybe he's a doctor, maybe he's a lawyer, or maybe he's a janitor who likes to read a lot. They get to talking, and the brother says, We should go up. And the dad says, Well, why should we go up? Billy says go up, but Jimmy says go down. And the brother says, well, you don't like Jimmy? And the dad says, well, no, I like Jimmy. I also like Billy. But I want to ask about up and down and Billy and Jimmy. I don't want to know which way is right or wrong without asking first. If we ask first and we discuss options first, then we'll know if we want to go up or down. Well, this is a new way of thinking. So the brother goes back home to his family with this new critical thinking in his young mind. He hasn't been doing this for long, but he's starting to use critical thinking for the first time. He likes it. It answers his questions. He understands more. He makes fewer mistakes. The world makes more sense to him, and he can predict some things that will happen because everything makes more sense with critical thinking. Well, one day he's with his parents and his parents say, we should go up. And the brother asks, why? How do you know we should not go down? And the parents say, what? How dare you question your good and right thinking parents? You don't agree with us? The brother says, well, no, I agree with you, but I want to understand. Can you tell us why we should go up and not down? Ah, oh, you're just finding ways to argue with us. That sounds clever. Where did you come up with this idea to disrespect your mother and father? Well, I'm not being disrespectful. My friend's dad talks that way. Aha! Uh -huh. It was your friend's dad's fault. We should protect you from him. So the parents start thinking that protection is part of what they need to teach their children. So... They protect their children. They shelter them. Their children can visit their friends less often. Their children can go outside less often. Their children can read fewer books and watch less on TV. In fact, they just get rid of the TV altogether. The children stay home. In fact, they never even see their friends, maybe. Or when they do see their friends, their parents ask 101 questions about why and where and what and who. So, the children grow up sheltered, but something's wrong with this picture. Can you really shelter someone from their own ideas? Well, it doesn't last long. Eventually, the brother and sister grow up and they become young adults and they still have their separate thinking. The brother had critical thinking and he grew up practicing it even though he was sheltered. But the sister never had that critical thinking just because of how things happened with her. She's an adult and she thinks right and good ideas, but she still has not learned to think critically. So she goes out into the world for the first time because she can't be sheltered forever. Maybe it's at a job, maybe it's college, maybe it's with her friends. But she starts to get new ideas. She learns right and good ideas from other people. And to her family, it seems a bit sideways, like it leans one way or the other. The family isn't sure what to do about it, but okay, we all change when we grow up. But the girl still doesn't have critical thinking. She's thinking new ideas. She's thinking more. She's thinking differently but she has not learned to think critically. So she encounters more new ideas and more new ideas until she gets so many new ideas 
that at last you're not sure what she's going to be thinking today or tomorrow since it changes so often. And so she's not sure what to think and one day she does this and the next day she does that and she's not sure what to do with her own life after a while. She has problems in her own family with her own children, her own relationships, maybe her job or maybe her school or all or only one of the above. But her life gets upside down and it becomes sad. It makes trouble at holidays and the parents begin to ask themselves, what did we do wrong? Where did we go wrong? We sheltered our children. The boy grew up just fine, but why did our daughter grow up with these problems? Did we not shelter her enough? What did we do wrong? And I am telling you that the central issue here is something that many people do not appreciate enough. It's called critical thinking, and that is what we're going to talk about more.